in the wake of mass shootings in our country has become a familiar ritual. Gun control advocates call for legislation. Republican supporters of the NRA call for prayers. Yesterday, the front page of the Daily News ran a blistering attack on the most prominent of these politicians, asserting that God isn't fixing this and calling them cowards who hide behind meaningless platitudes. Outside Holy Name of Jesus Church in Windsor Terrace, I asked passers-by if they subscribe to this point of view. Though the cover has generated anger among people who feel it mocks religion, Catholics I spoke to, including this man, were generally unfazed by the irreverence of the headline. You have to be able to bear arms, but you, you can't just go out of control and just, all right, I'm going to pick up an AK-47 and do whatever I want. You can't, you know, come on. This man also believes in extending the waiting periods for gun purchases to allow for background checks. He told me he didn't mind waiting for his own carry permit he once needed for a job. People have to have control. Politicians have to do, not just say, they have to do. I had a one year check. 10 days, I think that's too, 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 too short. The politicians really have to do it better. Did you see this headline? Yes, I did. What did you think of it? I thought it was very appropriate. God isn't fixing a problem. God didn't cause the problem. We caused it, you and I. So, uh, you know, when the Republicans call for prayers and then other people are calling for actual gun control legislation. I'm calling for ma massive change in the Second Amendment. It's time for that to go. The Founding Fathers never meant for this to happen. So what is your reaction to that headline? Well, prayer is wonderful, and, and prayer will work, but we have to have a little more action than prayer. There, there's got to be something done about this. Uh, uh, maybe we have to limit the amount of ammunition that people can get if we can't stop the, the gun trade. Maybe we can just stop the ammunition, and maybe that will go in the right direction. But yes, prayer is good, but we need more than prayer. As our country grieves and wrestles with the recurring horror of mass shootings, it seems in this local sampling of people, prayers are not a substitute for action. Reporting for Currents in Windsor Terrace, I'm Conrad Aderer.